Hello everyone, the topic which we are going to discuss is exception handling uh, means what is an exception and how to handle the exception in Java. So let's get through. As the definition says, an exception is an event which occurs during the execution of program that disrupts the normal flow of program's instructions. So meaning that uh, there are actually two kinds of errors, compile time error and runtime error. So what we are talking about here is runtime error. So if a run uh, runtime error means uh, while your program is executing, suddenly an error occurs. That is called an exception or runtime error. If such kind of runtime error occurs during your execution of a program, then your program quits in the middle. So, an exception is a runtime error which occurs during the normal execution of a program and if it happens, it will terminate your program in the middle. So, that's the issue here which we are going to deal with. Ki if a runtime error occurs, how we are going to handle that? Why we are going to handle this? Because if we are not uh, handling it using our line of code, then the program quits in the middle. And if we are able to handle that particular line of uh, uh, exception then the program will not quit in the middle okay let's see that okay there is an example program where you can see that I'm asking the user to enter two values a and B you can see here this one and this one so I'm asking the user to enter two values so imagine that if the user enter values uh, 23 for uh, variable A and 0 for variable B. In that case, what happens in the next line? At this particular line, your program crashes. Your program actually crashes at this particular line of code. Exactly, exactly at this point when you try to divide by 0. Okay. Because the JVM says this is an impossible operation from for me, undefined operation for me, I won't be able to do execute this line of code and hence that's an error which is actually a runtime error because your program is running and suddenly an error occurs and because of which uh, we call it exception and if an exception occurs what happens is your program will quit in the middle and this particular message will be generated you see this message this particular message below which I have shown you a technical message will be shown to you exception in thread main java dot lang dot arithmetic exception divide by zero in package and so on at line number 14 okay for a normal user this technical language is, un is not understandable right so uh, Second issue is that this line of code also did not execute. Okay, if some error occurred here, we want that rest of lines of code should also execute, which does not contain any error. Okay, so there are two issues. First is some technical message is generated, which is not understandable by a normal person. Secondly, our program exited in the middle, means after executing this line, after executing this particular line, okay your program will quit in the middle and rest of the lines of code will never execute okay so this is what exception is all about so how to handle this exception let's see let's see in the next particular example exception handling so almost the same line of code but now you can see that what it, what i did here is i embedded the line of code inside the try inside the try block you can see I'm highlighting that try block I've written that full line of code inside the try block so try block is actually a monitoring block which monitors any kind of runtime error if occurs so any kind of exception occurs so it will monitor for it so in our case exception actually occurred in this particular line okay in this particular line when the exception occurred in this particular line uh, Java generates an object called as 
exception object of some class. In our case, the class name is arithmetic exception. That is the name of the object, arithmetic exception. So what uh, Java does is it internally creates the object of this exception class and throws it in the Java environment. Okay. So uh, if someone is not there to catch this object, means if there is no appropriate catch block to catch this object, it will directly go to the JVM. It will directly go to the uh, JVM Java Virtual Machine leading to termination of your program. And that is what happened in the previous example where try and catch block was not there. So no one, uh, no catch block was there to catch this exception object and it directly went to the JVM and obviously JVM caught this exception object and printed the technical message key arithmetic exception cannot divide by zero and so on right but it also terminated our program in the middle so our purpose is not to allow this particular object to reach the JVM and hence we will try to catch this object within our own code okay and within our own code means we will try to catch this particular object with our own catch block because if we are able to catch this object within our own code then uh, our program will not quit in the middle and secondly we are able to print a custom message to the user as well rather than printing the technical message that cannot uh, java dot lang dot arithmetic exception can't divide by zero okay so uh, instead we can uh, just print our custom message here and hence if you have any particular lines of code after these things so they will execute after catching the exception those lines of code will execute rather than terminating your program in the middle so this is how exception handling is done so just to point just one point to note here is right now that appropriate catch block in this case the catch block of arithmetic exception should be made because the object is of type arithmetic exception and the catch block should also be of arithmetic exception. Now what is arithmetic ex exception? It is an inbuilt class, inbuilt exception class in Java which will catch the exception object in its reference variable e. Okay, so reference variable e will be used to catch the arithmetic exception object so it is pretty much like when you pass an object to a method and the uh, and there is a parameter in the method to catch that object so it is just like in the same sense we are using it here arithmetic exception arithmetic exception e so e is just a reference variable which will hold the object generated in the try block means it will catch the exception object print the custom message and if you, if that follows any particular lines of code then those will execute without uh, exiting your program